Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Are you looking for an effective solution to eliminate static noise, background music, and other types of interference from your audio files? Hunting for pleasure, killing for power. You In this video, I will guide you through the process of improving voice quality using CapCut Desktop so your original audio goes from incoherent to clear and distinctive voice in an instant. Hunting for pleasure, killing for power. You Let's go. For optimal audio quality, investing in a high-quality microphone and recording in a soundproof or noise-isolated environment is ideal. However, even with the best setup, unwanted static can sometimes creep into recordings. Personally, I find CapCut Premium to be a worthwhile investment, not only for its advanced audio enhancement tools, but also for its cost-effectiveness and AI-powered features. If you want to avail of a 7-day free trial and a discounted subscription fee, use my link below when you install and subscribe to CapCut Pro. To get started, create a new CapCut project and upload all necessary files, including the audio you wish to enhance. CapCut offers a variety of audio enhancing tools that can be used individually or combined to achieve the sound you want. To access these tools, select the audio element on your timeline to open the Audio Configuration menu. Activate the Enhance Voice tool to automatically remove echoes, popping sounds, and other noise to improve voice quality to studio levels. Make sure to increase the noise cleanup intensity for better results. On the other hand, the Reduce Noise tool eliminates unwanted background noise, making your voice more prominent. You can also adjust the volume to increase or decrease the audio level as needed. For added creativity, explore the Audio Effects section, which offers voice filters, character voices, and melody transformations. After applying the enhancements, preview your edits to hear the improved audio. Once satisfied with the results, click Export to save the final output to your device. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or want me to create a tutorial about another topic, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.